It is 8.30 a.m. and I'm going to dry my hair and I am up and ready to go. I have to go return food props to the place where I rent food props from. And it's Christmas Eve Eve. So I'm gonna show you my whole Christmas weekend, what I'm eating, what I'm doing. And it's my only Vlogmas because ain't nobody got time for Vlogmas every day. Check this out, this is the prop house. The food group that I rent all of my props from and they have so much stuff. But I'm not gonna rent anything today because I'm just gonna write for the next week. And I brought you some cookies, so Merry Christmas. <laughs> and you can find them at thefoodgroup.com, right? .ca. Thefoodgroup.ca if you need any food props. And they just got a whole bunch more. There's a ton sitting over here, so very good prices, lots of surfaces and lots of props. And I've been renting from here from the beginning for the cookbook and it's been amazing. You'd think I'd go to the grocery store enough, but I had to make one more pit stop here on my way home to get some actual food for us to eat. <laughs> Cause normally I'm just buying food to cook for recipes. And uh, so what I get, um, chips and kale <laughs> and some other fruit and vegetables in there. Okay, I am home now and I put the groceries away. And every time I go outside, I come home and I'm like, why did I go outside? I never wanna leave the house again. <laughs> so on the agenda today, I am not doing any work. We're meeting um, some friends of mine from Vancouver at three or four o'clock for a drink. And before that, I'm gonna make cookies, I'm gonna wrap gifts, and prep food for Christmas Eve and Christmas. I'm gonna listen to Christmas music because I've been trying to listen to Christmas music when I'm baking cookies because I've made a, f made a few batches now and I don't know, I'm just not getting in the Christmas spirit. But I do like Christmas music. When I was on the, when I was driving home, there was a radio station playing like this annoying, obnoxious mix of Christmas songs with like dance and techno and hip hop and it was just like so annoying. So now I'm going to listen to the Christmas classics. Got my wrapping out here. We just have a few gifts to wrap. And, well, I'm wrapping John's for him because he won't do it. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't had any breakfast or coffee, so that's what I'm going to do first is make some dang coffee. Let the day begin. I'm using the creamer because I bought it so I can bring it to um, Christmas because no one will have uh, non-dairy milk for breakfast and after dinner. So I'm just bringing my own creamer. It's good, it's not that sweet. I wasn't gonna do work, but a lot of people are asking questions about recipes for Christmas and like shit can I do this and can I make this ahead of time and blah 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 so I thought I would answer the comments but other than that I'm not really doing any work until Monday uh, because I have seriously not been motivated so what I'm supposed to be working on right now is writing out the recipes like in perfect form because I have to deliver a chunk of the book and writing the head notes which are like this recipe is perfect for a family picnic and blah, blah, blah. And I hate head notes and I don't want to do them, but I think I have to write something. That's what the publisher wants. So um, I have to try to make them like personality and like me and like funny and whatever. And I'm basically dreading having to do this. So I was thinking I would like do a video version, which I could post later as a behind the scenes of me just like, well, John would like, be there too because it would be helpful and then he'd say like okay the nacho cheese sauce and then I talk about the nacho cheese sauce and see if something great comes out of that and then that becomes the head note because I feel like for me and I think I've said this before I'm not really a writer I'm like someone who talks so it's really hard for me to write a book because I don't like writing so I have to do that and I just haven't started so I'm probably not going to do that until next week or like this week that you're watching this 
See, so I have a question. Could I make the sausage roll filling in advance and keep it in the fridge for a day until I can roll them into the pastry? Yes, you can. Just wrapping this poster for my sister's boyfriend. I got him in Kris Kringle. It is a poster of the beers of the world because he likes beer. <laughs> he makes his own beer. Okay, all my gifts are done. That was easy. The bags are the easiest. And it is noon, and I guess I'm gonna bake if my butter is thawed. The vegan butter has to be room temperature, as you know. It's all good, it's squishy. All right, so now I'm gonna bake some cookies. So these are what I'm making more of today. These are for Christmas Eve with my friends, and then I'm gonna make more to bring to Christmas Day at my family's house. You saw these on Hot For Food Vlogs video. Okay, so I'm on to making my pierogi filling because we're doing pierogies for Christmas Eve with my friends. And this is a potato and nacho cheese filling with spinach. It's actually going to be in the cookbook. And I'm making it for our little night together. And the best part is there's leftover nacho cheese to eat. So obviously I'm gonna eat that. And I just happen to have some corn chips over here. If you haven't made this nacho cheese, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's the best thing in the world. It's nut free. It's three o'clock. I'm tired. I made the progi filling, the mashed potatoes for Christmas, the gravy. What else did I make? The cookies. I'm just waiting for my jam to cool because I made it from scratch. Um, it's not that hard. The recipe's on the blog, hotforfoodblog.com. And I guess I gotta get ready soon, and I'm just waiting for the jams cool so I can finish these last six cookies and then ice them. Then maybe I should go get ready first. Ta-da! Now I'm ready, and we are waiting for John and making sure that he doesn't show up late and that we don't end up late. I'm literally always late because of John. Otherwise, I'm always early. We're going to the local, which is a pub in Liberty Village. And I'm pretty tuckered out of the Christmas music. <laughs> John is late, but he did go pick up my iMac at the Sherway Mall, so. But now we're gonna be late, and we're always late when we're meeting my friends. Where are you gonna park? Why do you have a pizza? I had a pizza party at the studio. I brought everybody pizza. <laughs> What a nightmare, vlogging on vlogging. John's doing a vlog for me. John in real life, coming soon. Hello there, hello. You're not loaded to studio, sorry. Well, I forgot to vlog, but I met up with my friend Beth at uh, the bar and then we went and dropped over here to Indy 88, the radio station to see our friend Lana Gay. Hi. On the radio. And this is my friend Beth from Vancouver and we're reunited. I think what Fundraiser. they're saying about is true. I bet you look good on the dance floor. Arctic Monkeys on Indie 88. I'm Lana Gay. Brace yourself for a whipped cream shortage. Yes. This is how serious my news is right now. It's the holidays. Uh, but yes, it's not the cream itself, so don't worry about that if you're a coffee drinker and such. Uh, but it's the nitrous oxide in the can that is in low supply. Surely this, this is my grad song. Closing time. Okay, so we had drinks with my friend Beth and her boyfriend Jason, and we had some snacks. And now I am tastefully toasty, and I'd like to go to another bar. So we're walking <laughs> home, but we're probably gonna stop at a bar on the way home to hang out. Just, we're just gonna hang out, just you and me. Too much vlogging. <laughs> I'm vlogging, you're vlogging. It's too shaky. I sort vlogging. of wanted to go to Glory Hole Donuts, but then also maybe I want to go to a bar. Who are you calling? This is the best part of the movie. Rocking around the Christmas tree Have a happy holiday Did they come back? Paris <laughs> It's almost 11 a.m. Oh my god. 
That never happens. It's Christmas Eve. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> right, John? We're getting up now. Oh, God. And I am totally hungover. And I have to go out again tonight because tonight's the real Christmas. I just drank too much yesterday. So that's, that's Christmas. <laughs> I feel like shit. The plan today is to watch the OA on Netflix after I'm done making this food. It's very sunny out. We should go outside. No way. I know. Well, nothing has changed. I guess I'm just going to be cooking all day because it's already 2 o'clock and I still haven't made waffles. I'm just having a green juice that John brought home from the grocery store because uh, he was out running errands on Christmas Eve. I don't know why. And now I'm cooking some food for breakfast. Or I guess it's lunch. So here we have some field roast sausages I'm cooking up. This is mushrooms, onions, potatoes with a bit of gravy for Christmas that I just threw in there to soften it up. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna make tacos or like a hash. I'm also gonna cook up some kale or maybe just marinate, um, massage it raw for all this. Maybe I'll just eat it on kale. I don't know. And then I told my sister I would bring gluten-free waffles for breakfast tomorrow, and I'm just gonna use the minimalist baker recipe because I don't feel like figuring it out myself for once. So this looks easy enough. It's just gluten-free flour and oats because I normally don't make them gluten-free, but my sister is gluten-free, so uh, these look delicious. And it says it serves five to six. This is literally like one of the first times I'm ever using someone else's recipe, um, but it's because I'm lazy as Okay, so I'm gonna use these gluten-free oats and this flour that I have, which was a sample. And this has what in it? Brown rice, tapioca, potato, now, I probably would have ground up the oats, but maybe that doesn't matter. Because that's what's going to help make everything stick together, but I would have made it more of the texture of the flour. I'm not sure. The only thing I don't like is how sticky this is. It doesn't... It's like glue. It's like paste. I don't mind eating people's gluten-free stuff if it's good, but I don't like making it, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, it's been about six minutes. More? I don't know, it looks pretty crispy to me. Maybe a bit more. There we are. They smell good. They're not as big as hers. We have a different waffle here, though, no, but they look good. I won't be doing a taste test until tomorrow, so hopefully it's all good. <laughs> I'm sure once you put sugar and whipped cream, it won't even matter that it's gluten-free. So, review coming later. Now we're gonna make these breakfast tacos. I decided on tacos. So our greens, I made up a sauce because I had some leftover sriracha aioli, and I added some herb and garlic cream cheese. The sausage. I already showed you that. I added green onions. And the tortillas are taking an awfully long time in there. Well, it's not very Christmassy, but it's going to be delicious. I had a feeling that the servings would be wrong. So this is like a four inch waffle, not even one, like a three and a half inch waffle. I only made three, there's four in there. And then this little bit, which isn't even a real waffle. So I have to make another recipe, another batch, I think. Cause there's six of us eating breakfast. Sickle. <laughs> Daddy's old cough syrup, eh? <laughs> okay, we're Christmas ready. I was told to get sparkly for the party, so I have sparkly, sparkly legs. Ooh. You're not sparkly. I'm sparkly on the inside. You've red socks. That's a MailChimp socks. Where'd you get those? What, the MailChimp socks? Yeah. This party last year. What party? It was a gift. Oh, that was the Kris Kringle gift from yeah. Julie or something. Yeah. That's funny. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got a hot tati and then all of this food out here so far. Beet what did you make? Hoisin. Beet and hoisin and tofu, carrot. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> I can't really. I'm, I'm serving to hot for food here, so. <laughs> Look at this weird kids game. It's so messy. Who would give this to a child? You're supposed to put cream in your face. My dad did it. <laughs> your dad did it? Uh-huh. Because your dad's like, cool, take it to your mom's house and make a mess. <laughs> We got the assembly line going here. Hey, we need some, we need some dough. <laughs> We're making dough. <laughs> well, hurry, hurry up. Okay, pierogi party. So What's up? I made that salad there. What? <laughs> yeah. What is that? <laughs> Oh my god. And then we got, what do we got? Bacon. Some beets, and I brought some coconut bacon, and vegan sour cream, and someone made caramelized onions. Which one vegan sour cream? That guy. Okay, gift game now. They're strategizing. They're strategizing. As <laughs> already. <laughs> I won the best gift of the gift game. I won it. Well, John stole it from me. A geode. <laughs> it's so cool. Sparkly. It's 2 a.m. Yeah, bedtime. Goodbye. Merry Christmas! It's 8.40 in the morning. I'm just packing up all kinds of stuff to go to my sister's house. Last night I packed up all kinds of stuff to go to Brooke's house. It's just transferring stuff from house to house, from box to box. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be at my sister's by 9.30 and uh, just got a lot of food to bring. So you'll see it all when we get there. Hi, Snickles! I don't wanna leave you. Guinness, you can't eat anything. No, you can't You're eat it. Right here. You can't eat it. No. All right, there's the waffles. Stack of waffles. Ooh. Wow, they look good, Lauren. And where's our hash? This is the egg hash. And we're also gonna try this that we got from Kin Community. Bourbon maple syrup. Oh, wow. Oh, there's our skillet. Oh, yeah. So what is that, tofu egg? Yeah. The waffle looks good. How is it? Oh, who's tasted it? It's good. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. It's not gummy? Mm -mm. No, it's got substance. Might Delicious. Have, might have too much substance. Mm. Too thick? Mm -hmm. I thought they were a bit dense, yeah. Okay, well, everyone has the their card. present. Look at this card. Homemade card. Oh my gosh. We play Secret Santa, oh, so John got my dad. I'm not going. What is it? Well, that's why the plan's all screwed up. So they're already going to a hockey game that same night that Jan got tickets for an oh, afternoon okay. game. Hey, Mixing you, bowl. <laughs> oh, no, I, I see what the problem is. I, I just well, we'll resolve in 20 minutes. So I yes. get it. Guinness, oh, what did oh. Guinness? What did you get, Guinness? Dinner. Yeah, my sister <laughs> works for Cuisinart. <laughs> <laughs> and a bamboo cutting board. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, oh, these are cute. No, that's your membership. Oh, cool. Thank you. Hang on. Holy gosh. This thing's crazy. Ooh. You know what this is? Yeah. You know what it is? No. Don't lift it up. You might not <laughs> oh, get it back. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Go to the oh, other side. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a big one. These are fantastic. Take the off the plastic. and the other thing. Ooh, it's a rock. Oh my god, it's one of those salt lamps. Yep. Or your studio. No 
Is there is a cord for it? Yes, it's inside. Yeah, lick it. Oh, it is salty. Yes. Retro yeah, Bailey's and coffee and an old Tim Hortons. You're making uh, better progress. Another dog, Jake. <gasps> Hi, Jake. Hey, man, Look, we finally I'm made it. The, Jap <laughs> the Japanese Canadian <laughs> National <laughs> Newspaper. Jade, it says Yonsai Canadian TV personality. Yeah. What does that mean? Yonsai. What's Yonsai? Fourth generation. Oh, cool. Issei, Nisei, I'm Sansei, you're Yonsei. Okay, because I have, in the interview I was like, I think I'm third generation, then we had a whole discussion. She's like, no, you're fourth generation. <laughs> and I think Another so dog! Hello. Millie, how big you are. Sorry, twice there. They're so big. They go, look. It's interesting though to invest, because the price of the homes are like, He's snoring. Yeah, like you hope it's gonna make it come back. Oh, will, absolutely. I just don't know if I'll ever be so uh, where are we and what are we doing today? We're at my Aunt Debbie's house in Burlington for Christmas dinner and everyone's gonna be here. My parents, my sister and her fiance, my cousins. My family is loud. Everyone's gonna be very loud and the gift game will be interesting. My mom doesn't want any stealing, uh, but that's the whole point of the game. Hmm. Let's see what we get that John's opening. <laughs> But this is yours, it's yours, it's yours. Office, office, the Board game. Another board game, oh, from Jane. It's like, I'm that guy, <laughs> and that's you. Okay. All right, we have our roasted vegetables oh, sorry. there, and our mashed potatoes that are oh, pretty dry-ass, I would say. Should I add some? I don't know, they just got really dry from heating them up. Oh my god, I'm not hungry anymore. I got vegan gluten free cupcakes, cookies that I made, fruit, inedible. <laughs> Alright, I'm having a sliver of this pumpkin caramel cupcake and some fruit. And it's so freaking loud in here! Oh my god! Good morning friends. It is 10 a.m. so I did sleep in. It is Boxing Day and that is my Christmas vlog. My one vlog miss for the year. I hope you liked it. Uh, good food, lots of cool presents, fam jam, and now it's back to work for me because I have a cookbook to write and I have some hopper food videos to edit. So, um, back to the grind. I'll see you in 2017. Although we do have a new Hot For Food video coming today and next week and the week after. So we're not stopping um, for the holidays. So, um, yeah, comment below, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.